Caddis Maximus here again, this time with the Harbor Freight Digital Micrometer. And this is probably one of the best values on the market and certainly the best micrometer at Harbor Freight. And really, um, I have a degree in manufacturing and machining, and although I don't do that as a living, uh, these are actually pretty darn nice. The cost of a Mitotoyo or a Sterrett digital like this is exponentially more expensive. And they're still kind of pricey. I think they're about 40 bucks at Harbor Freight. It's nice that they're digital. It's nice that they're both absolute and incremental. So you can measure something and then see measure something else against it and see if it's bigger or smaller than what you've just measured. A very handy function, as well as just having a absolute measurement on the position. It measures down to a half tenth or one half of a ten thousandth of an inch or point zero 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 five. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Or one thousandth of a millimeter. So excellent resolution on it. And you can see the little point fives there. Um, when you switch to, whoop, that's incremental. You have to press and hold to get it to switch to metric. And there it is, millimeters to the thousandth. So that's also pretty handy. It does take like three, four seconds for the modes to switch. The same thing to reset it. If you want to reset it, you got to press and hold for three or four seconds. One nice thing is um, it has a very smooth action. So that works well, of course, the carbide tips. It also comes with this little accessory here, which is just a little ball bearing. I'm not, I'm sure, I think it's a hundred thousandths. And so that allows you to measure curved surfaces. It just sticks onto the anvil there. Uh, it also comes with a little tool to open the battery cover, but you don't need that. You can just use your fingers. And of course, a spot, a couple spots to uh, hold an extra battery. It's actually not that badly made. They have a nice plastic insulator. Whoop. We have a nice plastic insulator here. An easy battery cover. You can just twist that with your fingers. You don't even need to use a screwdriver or anything. In case you're wondering why micrometers like this do have uh, plastic, it's because the heat of your hands heats up the frame. And on a micrometer that measures to the thousandth of a millimeter, um, You'll notice that. You can notice that it's zero will move as it's heated, started heating up. So they put on these plastic covers. Geez, I'm totally out of frame there. Uh, they put on these plastic covers uh, to prevent the heat from your hands transferring to the micrometer. And so these are really highly recommended. They have their other cheaper ones, but I wouldn't do it at all. I would just get this digital one and be happy with it. It uses a 2032 standard uh, button cell. And you will always get really nice, accurate measurements as long as you don't use it as a C-clamp and screw up the threads and the, the thimble there or drop it. Uh, and it probably could take a drop or two, to tell you the truth. The plastic will probably hold up, uh, obviously, depending on how it lands. But, yeah, these are great for everything from measuring brake rotors to all sorts of stuff. So, uh, And even if you are a machinist, I don't think you'd be disappointed to have this set because, you know... I don't think that they'd lead you astray, and for the price, it's hard to beat for such a high-resolution tool. It's really surprising, and it's also surprising that they only have a one-inch available. They don't have any other sizes, not on the website or anything. That just doesn't make any sense. I'm like, if you have such a nice, and I know one inch is the most common, so the cheapest for them to buy. Um, but if these are popular and are pretty good, I don't know why they wouldn't at least do a two or three inch as well. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.